Okay, has everybody pooped this morning? Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel. Now for anyone who doesn't know because they didn't see my last video, recommend that you check it out. We did sell our house up in Northwest Indiana and we got a new property here on 10 acres and we got some woods now and we got a whole list of projects to do. So if you didn't see that video, make sure you check it out so that you can get filled in on what's going on over here at Spicer Designs. Well, today I got a video for you that I wasn't even going to make. I started doing the project and I thought, you know what? it i'll make a video on it so today we're going to be using the coyote ck 2610 and i got a real project we're going to be doing and i mean that literally so let me show you what we got going on down here we got a disgusting bush right there that someone planted and then over here this is where my septic field is and that's what we're going to be addressing today we got a couple issues if there's someone else that might have these problems maybe this video will help them now over here you can see that I've got some pretty good dips in the yard. You can see where the fingers actually come out for the leach field. That's a little bit of an issue and I've got some water seeping out right over here, which is an issue. So I need to do a little bit of research on that. But the problem today is the distribution box. So coming over here, we're kind of behind the carport now. You can see the septic lid. Now when we first bought this house, I went ahead and had the septic pumped and everything looked good in there. You never know when you buy a house when the last time they had the septic pumped, but everything looked good. This is a tool I made a long time ago. It's, a, it's like a probing tool. And you can see on the end of it that it's got slightly enlarged right there. And you need to do that because if you're trying to find your septic tank and you have a probe that just has a straight shaft, you'll get resistance along that shaft every time you're probing and you won't be able to go that deep. If you have that ball on the end, that ball will create space so that the rest of the shaft can slide without any resistance. I know there's a lot of sexual jokes involved in that, but uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments if you want. So let me show you how this thing works real quick so that if you need to find your septic tank, because not everyone's lid is right on the top of grade like that, let me show you how it works. All right, so if you have a general idea of where your septic tank is, that's a good start. The easiest way to do that is to go in your basement and look to see where the drain pipe goes out of your foundation and what direction. That'll at least point you in the right direction. Otherwise, you're just gonna take your probe, push it in the ground, and I can tell I'm hitting concrete. And you can just kinda keep probing around and you can actually map out the whole tank so you know exactly where it's placed. And I also used this probe to find where my distribution box was as well. So assuming that everyone has a general idea on how a septic system works, basically you take a shit, you flush, the turd goes through your pipes, it comes into your main septic tank, which is anywhere from 800 gallons to 1500 gallon tank. The solids go in the tank, the solids settle to the bottom. Then your liquids come up through a baffle, they go out to a distribution box, which I'll show you in a second. And then from the distribution box, it separates, supposed to be evenly, into the leach field or the fingers. And then the water will dissipate into the ground. Now it's a good idea to have some bacteria in your septic tank, which will eat away at the solids over time so you don't have to have that septic tank pumped as much. It is recommended to have your septic tank pumped every three to five years, depending on how many people are in your family and how large your tank is. But today's issue is in the distribution box. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so the discharge line comes from the house over to the tank. From the tank, there's a pipe that runs underground. Obviously, you can't see it. And it runs over, and it goes into that hole right there, which I dug up. Now, the reason I dug this up was because when the guys were here to pump the tank, I wanted to inspect the distribution box and make sure that there were no solids in it because I wasn't sure how frequently that the septic system was serviced in the past years. This house is almost 20 years old, so you never know. So the problem here today, this is a concrete distribution box, which is fine, it's pretty common. But when I pulled the lid off, the box is totally deteriorating, the sides are caving in, and I just can't leave it like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the coyote, and I'm gonna just start digging this thing up. Hope no turds come shooting through there. Well, enough around, let's get to work.
While I'm over here digging around in the sewage box, we got the Keystone girl fishing. Must be nice. Did you catch anything? Caught a bass. What size bass? Where's your hat and glasses at? <laughs> it's too hot out for it. You're supposed to be in uniform at all times. All right, I got most of this thing exposed. Well, pretty much all of it exposed. I just got to get under these pipes a little bit. This is a little bit wet in there, so it's going to be kind of suctioned into the mud. So I'll just have to break this box loose, but you can see on the corner, and it might be hard because it's in the shadow, but all this is all broken apart. There's a chunk right there, and you can see there's a big chunk missing right in the corner. It should have lasted a lot longer than this. It could have been the salt from the softener that deteriorated it. I just can't leave it like this. It needs to be replaced, and here is the new one. This one is plastic. I could not find a concrete replacement. This one has all the holes that I need. You can also extend the lid higher if you want to have an access hole above ground, which I might do. So now I just got to uh, cut some of this piping apart. I got some fittings. I'll pull that one out and we'll get this one all fitted in there and, and get it covered up with some stone. All right, let's get this lid off. That thing's f***ed. All right, I want to get you a close look at how this thing works here. So you can see our incoming pipe comes in and a 90 turns down, it acts like a baffle. So if any solids do get in there, which there are some solids in there, they settle to the bottom. And then you can see there's these little holes going out and those can be turned and adjusted so that the water or liquid will go out evenly into the fingers, which is what's not happening right now. It looks like it's uh, going out into this one on the left more than the others. And that's where I got the most wetness down there. So when I adjust these things, I'm gonna get this first one that's on higher ground. I'm gonna have it go into that one first. Um, hopefully the water table is a little bit lower over there and the ground won't be as saturated. So we'll get uh, more even distribution for that leach field. So as you can see, this box is totally f***ed. It's gonna be fun pulling it out of here, but it needs to be replaced. Save those. No turning back now. Oh yeah. That's good. Oh, why do we move? So I got some stone down here in the base, just for a good solid base. I'll use the stone to, to level the new distribution box. And then I got all the blanks in where there's no uh, pipes going in. And I got all my seal fittings in here. So all it's left to do is to slide this thing over, get it all leveled up with the stone. And then I gotta replumb the in pipe and replumb this one going out to the field. Damn it. Fuckers. I could put some more stone around it. Then we can uh, throw some pee pee and some poo poo through the line and see if this thing works. There's no good way to put it. Now 
that we got a little bit of water in the bottom of the box. Obviously water is going to level once it's in there. So I'm gonna measure off the water so that we can put these inserts back in there and I can get them turned right where I need to so that the liquid coming in goes out evenly to all the fingers. So I'll go ahead and pop these things in. That's my beer drinking hand. Damn it. All right, now I couldn't get this thing perfectly level because the way the pipes all come into it, it was basically forcing that box to the position that it wanted it to be in. So I got it as close as I could, but that's okay because since we have those caps on there where you can adjust the height as to where you want the liquid to go through, uh, it really doesn't matter that much. Once I got some water in here, obviously the water levels itself. So I measured off the water to the caps and you can get a better look right now. It's a little bit further from the water to go into that pipe. Same with that one. If you look on these other two, it's a little bit closer to going into that one and that one. I would like it to go into those two pipes first, which is gonna be on higher grade going through here and then the second finger. And then those two lower fingers, I'm guessing it's a little bit closer to the water table or it's just a little bit more saturated down there and the water is pushing up through the ground. So before I level all of that area out and fix all of those ruts, I'm going to make sure that this fixes that issue. And if anyone knows why it's coming out of the ground over there, let me know in the comments. I'm guessing it probably needs a little bit more dirt over it. I'm hoping there's not an issue with my leach field, but only time will tell if the new distribution box and the adjustments that I've made is going to fix that issue. Well, that was one job, but there's still one thing that could turn this day around. That's an ice cold keystone. Oh my God, you read my mind. That's right, keystone, not an Anheuser-Busch product. Do you know what this is? Um, some pipes, huh? It's not for fishing, that's for sure. <laughs> which is all you're worried about. <laughs> that's, I'm waiting to fish right now. Now this wasn't the worst job to do, and I'm not a plumber, and I don't install septic systems. I've never done this job before. I didn't watch any videos on this, so there may have been a couple things that maybe I didn't do right. <laughs> I just kind of did what made sense to me as far as how this should go together and how it should distribute the liquids into the leach field. And like I said, I wasn't gonna make a video on this, but I figured if there's someone else out there that's having an issue in their septic field, this will at least give them an idea of what they'd be getting into if they decided that they wanted to replace their distribution box if they needed to, right? Yeah. I mean, do you think if you watch this video that you could do this job? Yes, now I yes. You do, you do think so? Yeah, faster too. Well, I'd say <laughs> that I did a pretty good job on this video then. <laughs> Two thumbs up for you. Because I mean, I feel like I could bring you a keystone. I remember that. Yeah, I don't, really don't think it's that hard to do. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. This makes me realize who I am when I drink this. <laughs> Which is... Oh man. <laughs> when you start interfering with the man's beer, you're gonna, you're gonna start pissing people off. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got more to do here. Oh, I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> That's bad form. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been home all day. Did you know I was out here? No. That's a quick answer. <laughs> <laughs> that smell bad out here though. Yeah, well, it's, I just literally was handling shit. I mean, there's doo-doo particles in here. There's not supposed to be any doo-doo in here. Doo-doo's supposed to stay in there. But there's a little doo-doo in here. <laughs> <laughs> all your doo-doo. No, this was someone else's doo-doo that we didn't know before we bought the house. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna show you. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. No, the nuggets don't go in there. Oh. Where do they go? Over there. By the little wild one right there. Do you guys wanna jump in there and go swimming? No. no. That's where pea goes. 
It is Rapigo's. Very good. 